Igor, what a pleasure to see you back here. It's already uh, four times, correct? I think that's correct, yes. Yes, and uh, especially this year that uh, you may be here in Mons with the jet lag because uh, you are just back from, uh, from Asia, so that means that you, you are really to like this tournament. No, for sure. Um, it's not so easy with my ranking. I'm 70 in the world, so I'm in the first tournament of Asia, but not in the second one. Uh, so that means if you're in the tournament on Friday, it's, uh, it's making choices, playing qualies of the next week in Beijing or Tokyo, or come back to a challenger, in this case uh, Mons, uh, which is close to home in the tournament I like. So for me, not a difficult decision. And um, when we look at the, we will say, the three last year of your career, um, we saw that the, in 2011 and 12, uh, you were quite struggling some challenger and then 2013 when we look at uh, your palmares of the year uh, what happened that uh, you know semi-final of in Dusseldorf, third run in Wimbledon and some quarter-final so of ATP Tours tournament so what happened? Well I think I have to correct you a little bit because uh, 2012 in my uh, uh, memory was a really good year also um, feeling confident in the challengers, I think I won two, made a couple finals and then uh, worked my way in the top 100. And I started really, really feeling comfortable with my game, knowing my game style was very important, playing attacking from the baseline and coming into the net. And um, just to know that and have that security that you know what you want um, was helping me a lot. So, um, yeah, then, then I started off this year uh, feeling comfortable, feeling good. Uh, wanted to prove myself I was belonging with the best top 100 players and um, I wanted to play the big boys and I've done so far so good. If I can, uh, if you allow me to interrupt you, <laughs> sure. uh, you won three challenger, not two. Okay, two, yeah, 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 three. Three, you're right. Yeah, you're right. So, you remember which one? Uh, it was Wolfsburg. Kim Pear and Vancouver. Very good job. Thank you. And um, what can we wish you for uh, next year? Uh, well, which First you title? Or, or what I want? Well, you can choose. Well, if, if you would say the first title, I would, I would really appreciate that and, and that's something that I dream of for sure. Uh, uh, to have a title would, would be great. But um, I, I just want to en keep enjoying my, my, my tennis and, and work hard. I feel there's a lot of um, areas to improve still. So um, I want to I wanna have that positive vibe going on and uh, work hard with the coach on my side and try to, to be the best player I can be. What, what needs to we go to move to the next step and uh, to, to be even more regular in the result of the ATP Tour? Well, I think there's a, a little uh, physical uh, area that I can improve on. I, I'm a big guy, but uh, that's a lot of kilos I take around, so I could be a little fitter, I guess, a little lighter. That's something I work on a lot. Uh, but also mentally to, uh, to, to keep on going in, uh, week in, week out, fight for every match is something that, uh, that I'm doing well, but uh, when I look at uh, Rafa Nadal, I can, I can still improve. And um, are you laughing now much more than before? Laughing? Yeah. Uh, well, I'm, I'm enjoying this, this level of tennis more, so maybe I'm a little more happy in life also. Could yeah, we, we see you smiling more. Okay, well, you, it's a good sign. Yeah, because maybe you will move from the lemon price to the orange <laughs> price, no? That would be great. Yeah. No, that was a joke because you are a very nice guy. Uh, Igor, um, do you accept the last question coming from one of your teammates? One of my teammates? I mean one of the players. Do you accept uh, um, to receive the question? I accept to receive. I don't know if I answer. <laughs> okay. Hallo Igor, alles goed? Ik heb een klein vraagje voor jou. Uh, aangezien België zo goed bezig is in de wereldbeker, uh, wie denk je dat de wereldbeker gaat winnen? Uh, aangezien België zo goed bezig is in de wereldbeker, uh, uh, wie denk je dat de wereldbeker gaat winnen? Haha, <laughs> dat is, uh, is een goede.
Well, I think uh, Brazil is hosting it, right? So, um, and I saw uh, Brazil win the Confederations Cup. I thought uh, that was a really impressive uh, soccer. But uh, as you know, the Dutch has a, have, a, have a very strong team with great players, and uh, I think uh, this could be the year that we become world champions. So I'm going to go for the Dutch.